It's coming up to midday on Saturday, the 1st of August. We're here on the German-Polish border. Behind me, you can see uh, the gateway to Poland. We're down here with 10 of us from St. Helens Church in London. Come to see what uh, the Christians in Poland are doing. Going up to uh, Belitsy in the mountains, another five hours down the road from here. We've really come to see what the Lord is doing in Poland and get some vision of his work here. It was some 15 years ago now that one of the pastors in the local church in Roslov, a major city about 200 kilometers from here, had the vision to build a farmhouse retreat where Polish Baptists from all over the country could come and relax in the mountain, meet together and study God's word. When I first came here some seven years ago, there was just this farmhouse pretty ramshackle state it was in too. Since then, members of St Helen's Church have helped put up the second building, a storeroom and a shower block and a work area, which has really enhanced the, facil the facilities here at Belize. Also on the main building, there's a new roof, a new uh, assembly hall, new kitchens, more showers and toilets, more accommodation. Now we can sleep perhaps 80 people here. It was in Poland that World War II began. On the 1st of September 1939, the Germans invaded the country in pursuance of Hitler's territorial demands. With his blessing, the Red Army entered eastern Poland, and in a short space of time, the whole nation was split down the middle, half occupied by the Nazis and half by the Soviets. No nation suffered more terror, death and devastation in World War II than Poland. Six million Polish citizens, half of them Jews, were exterminated. Millions were forced into labour camps. Jeśli radość w sercu chcesz mieć, jeśli radość, radość, która wiecznie ma trwać, jeśli radość przed tron Boga przyjść i głos Jego chwałę. Przed tron Boga przyjść i głoś Jego chwałę i moc. Głoś chwałę i moc. Głoś chwałę i moc. Jeśli miłość w sercu chcesz mieć, jeśli miłość, miłość, która wiecznie ma trwać. Jeśli miłość, przed tron Boga przyjdź i głoś Jego chwałę. Przed tron Boga przyjdź i głoś Jego chwałę i moc. Głoś chwałę i moc. Głoś chwałę i moc. Let's go back to the passage. John chapter 6. Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. You were looking for words you mm -hmm. didn't understand. Gathered. Right. Gathered. It means to, co to collect the pieces. Um, in, gather the pieces. They, they have had a meal and 5,000 people mm -hmm, and there's mm -hmm. lots of pieces of bread and fish and they have to bring them into baskets into collect them all together uh, um, to gather I know that's the, the noun and these are the adjectives yeah. the vision for a quiet place where people could come from the cities all over Poland 
led to the purchase of an old farmhouse some 15 years ago for a very small sum of money. Since then, God has blessed many young people, students, children, people from poor homes who have come and spent some time in these beautiful mountains. God has met with them in the peace and beauty of his creation, and especially through his word in the Bible. Much work has also been done towards the refurbishment of these buildings to make it a suitable place for 50, 60, even 70 people to stay. And although Poland has come through a lot of changes in the last few, year, few years, has thrown off communism and found freedom, hardship is still prevalent here. The economy is broken and a lot of money is needed to finish the work at Blitzsche. I first came here in 1987 with a few friends from St. Helens Church and each summer since then members of our church have been coming here and helping with the cooking, tiling, laying pipes, digging ditches, making walls, anything that needs doing around here. Teams of up to 10 people have given up their summer to come and help with the work. And we've also shared spiritually with the Polish people here in our twice daily meetings where we sing songs, learn Polish songs, share passages from the Bible through translators and really had a, a lovely time of fellowship. Since the fall of communism two years ago, there have been a lot of changes here in Poland. I've certainly noticed them from when I was last here that the shop seems to be full of goods that you couldn't get before. And there seems to be a, a new spirit here, despite the, the great economic hard, hardships that many people are suffering. Since I last came to Eastern Europe, there have been many changes, the most obvious of which, of course, has been the fall of communism. But in its place, particularly here in Poland, has come the rise of Roman Catholicism that has become a new force for change and development in the country. Sadly, however, the Protestant churches, and especially the evangelical ones, which make up a, a tiny percentage, something like half of 1% of the population, they, these churches are considered some kind of cult. Many of the people who come to believe say have come from Catholic backgrounds and are hearing about the Lord Jesus Christ for the first time. It's a great opportunity to, to, to tell the gospel and to spread the gospel into a really quite dark land. With a land area of some 300,000 square kilometers and a population of 37 million, Poland has the misfortune of being sandwiched between Germany and Russia which has accounted for centuries of problems for this land. As you've seen, a lot of hard work's been done this week, but also we've had a lot of fun too. And everyone here will go away with fond memories and new relationships. 
What I want to ask you now is how, how can you help with the work here in Poland? How can you contribute to God's vision for Poland? Maybe you can come yourself here for a week in the summer and do some work on one of the camps. Or maybe you can help in other ways. Whatever it is, please share in God's vision for Poland. Well, we've been walking for about an hour now. It's pretty hot. It's up in the mid eighties. As you can probably hear, I'm out of, I'm out of breath. It's a beautiful day. Uh, you can probably see one of these marker stones, which shows where Poland ends and Czechoslovakia begins. A really beautiful place to walk. This is the border stone between Poland and Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia is this way and the, the towns and villages of Poland that way. And we've trekked up here, and there's a sign here which says Belice Quarter Q, which I think is, means quite a long way. We've trekked up here. I'm looking at my cameraman now, and I can see the sweat on his face. And all these Poles have come up with us. They're all eating blueberries, and it's really like a scene out of the uh, Sound of Music. I feel like one of the Von Trapp family children trekking up over the hills. <laughs> I am running. I am running. 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 I run. I am running. Wrong. You are running. You are running. Running. He, he is running. running. She is running. Mm -hmm. She. <laughs> she is, is running. running. We, we are running. We are running. They are running. They are right. Should we for the camera? Should we do us? Oh, oh yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know. Okay. Uh, one, ready? Two, three, one, four, two. Five. Yes. You do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay. Oh my. <laughs> yes, I'm eight. One, two. Two, two. Two, seven. What am I? Six. Basic, tell me, I am one, two, 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 three, four, five, five. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. eight. Good, eight. right. One, five, five, three, three, four, four, eight, eight, one. Eight. 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 Oh. Oh. Na koniec. Na koniec. Ja jestem seven. Ja się nie dołączam.
Stronislavski now, the uh, industrial town at the bottom of the valley, the Belice. It's about a half an hour drive. We've come down in the convoy of cars. About half of the people on the camp, about 40 of us, have put off in the cars for a day trip. We're going to a beautiful range of mountains called the Wandering Mountains, about a half an hour's drive down through Klodzko. Behind me you can see a typical housing block in Stronislavski, the village at the bottom of the valley from Belitsi. And already you can see the influence of the West creeping in since the Iron Curtain came down with the satellite dishes. Who knows what the future of Poland is going to be? Okay, we're coming up pretty fast on this very odd looking, very old Polish car that's making a lot of noise. I think it's running on two-stroke petrol. I'm going to see if I can overtake it. There's a car coming the other way. And we're coming out to a sharp bend now. We're trying to keep up with Alex Williams, who's in the red VW Polo in front of us. OK, I'm going to go for it. Here we go, overtaking now. Clean through. Chocolate is for licking. So, how many slot is to the pound now, Alex? Uh, 24,000 24, slot is to 20, the pound. 24,000. When I first came, I think there were about 4,000, 3 or 4,000 to the pound. Would you, would you, would you like ras raspberry, yeah. nut, yeah. or mixed? A mix. Like, uh, I'll have a raspberry for me. Uh, it should be 9,000, shouldn't it? I was mixed a bit more. Don't spend all your losses at once. 
Eat that. Very nice as Loddy. Cheers. <laughs> so raspberry and nuts to uh, Loddy. Alex is so when, I, when, I, when I came to Poland, I had a princely salary of 1,200. I'm now giving 15,000. Polinovic. Polinovic, what do you want? Raspberry. Yeah. Finish your story. Finish your story. Uh, my, my salary, I live very well on 1,200. How long ago was that, Alex? Very well, before I married my wife. So we're talking a few years ago. Excuse me, we're not talking Talking years 20 ago. years ago, 30 years ago. We are talking 20 years ago, but even so, it's still a shock to give 5,000 for an ice cream. Well, that's a pretty one with, uh, with ripples. It's a very nice ice cream, actually. Mmm, cool. Clear. Slow. Can, can you see anything under, under the trees? Go on. This yeah. is the Polish equivalent of Safeways. In fact, you can get quite a quite a good range of fruit and vegetable these days. I'm surprised again how how things have changed. A box of nectarines over there is 24,000 um, slotties, which is about a pound. What we pay in London. So yellow, yellow beans. I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. Yellow, yellow, yellow beans. Yellow beans. Well, the, the carrots would do with a wash. Carrots could do with a wash. The, the sunflower, the sunflower heads. Sunflower heads. Now these are great. The well, what do what do you do with sunflower heads? Can anybody tell well, me? Well, they take out the seeds and they use them in cooking or just for eating them. You'd find them in the Safeways muesli. Well, while I'm eating my loddy, I'll tell you something about the various fruit and vegetables we've got here. Sunflower heads, you can take out the seeds and you can use them for cooking or just eat the seeds. You can find these in your Safeway muesli back home. I've never tried them this way, but uh, they look very interesting. 5,000 zlotys for one head, which is about 30p, a bit less than that, in fact. Really quite a good really quite a good range of vegetables and fruit here. Um, fresh grapes, you wouldn't have seen those five years ago. Nectarines over there, about... Um, Wow, it's getting cooler already, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, it's so narrow. Incredible Port Rock formations. Last time I came down here, um, 86 I think it was, there was snow just at the bottom here. Wow. That's 80 degrees. It certainly is getting pretty cold down here. Yeah, it's very refreshing. Minor steps are really getting slippery now. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. What do you reckon, about 100 feet deep? Something like that? This is where the snow was last time. It's just a bit of mud now. And you said it was in July? In July, yeah. Can you imagine? Amazing. Look at this one. My word. This is amazing. I wonder, I wonder how old the rocks are. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely and cool. You can stay here all day. Beautiful. Ice Age, probably, is something formed by sheets of ice, yeah. glaciers. So, so, how have you enjoyed your time in Poland so far, Paul? Good, I've been very much enjoyed it. The scenery is great, people are very friendly, and um, yes, bluebells, fresh bluebells. 
Oh, yeah, and oh, there's raspberries we had to eat yesterday. Great. Zaśpiewaj Panu pieśń uwielbienia i włącz swój głos w pokoleń krąg. Jeśli Ty zmilczysz wtedy kamienie, zniosą swój krzyk przed Boga tron. Jak wielki jest Pan, Alleluja, wielki jest Pan, Alleluja, wielki jest Pan, Alleluja. Jak wielki jest Pan, Alleluja, wielki jest Pan, Alleluja, wielki jest Pan, Alleluja. Całym sercem wielbiący Pana. Za wszystkie dzieła cały świat, tablice prawa i lud wybrany, idź za Jezusem, boś nam brat. Jak wielki jest Pan, Alleluja, wielki jest Pan, Alleluja, wielki jest Pan, Alleluja. Alleluja. Idź za Jezusem w kościoła ludzie. Niech ducha moc nad nami trwa. Pełnię człowieka odtwarzaj w trudzie, by śpiewać mu Alleluja.
priceless anyway <laughs> okay let's try this one uh kawa naturalna yeah kava naturalna oh, kava naturalna yeah that means coffee and we've got the russian here and the as russian well is coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Oh, that's easier isn't it okay what about this one uh samyatyanka shmitanka <laughs> i wasn't close smitanka yeah it's uh, okay Cream, Smitanka. Uh -huh. yes. And the Russian? Can you read Smitana. the Russian? Smitana. Oh, okay. This one I know. Herbata. Yeah. It means tea. And uh, chow. Chai. Chai in, yeah. in, uh, in, in Russian, which is about, it's, it costs a thousand slotties, which yeah. is in English pounds, that's about, uh, about 10p, I think. Mm -hmm. And this one, Zhwekolada. Uh, Czekolada. Zhwekolada? Czekolada. Czekolada. Yes. Chocolate. Yes. And the Russian? Szokowat. Szokowat. How come you speak the Russian? What? Why, you, le you must have learned Russian at school. I've learned. Half an hour. Okay. Uh, kawa, no, kawa Natuana? Kawa Naturalna. Kawa Naturalna. Yes. That means coffee. Yeah. And what's the Russian? Coffee. Coffee. Mm -hmm. How come you speak Russian? Because I had to learn it at school. How, My Russian is very poor. Sounds good to me. How many years did you learn Russian? Too much. Too much. <laughs> it's like my French, too much. And it's still very bad. What about this one? Smitanka? Yes, Smitanka. Smitanka, that means cream. Uh -huh. And herbata. I know what herbata means. That's I know, you know. <laughs>
I like this song very much, and we, we sang it in South America, and it reminds me. I rest in God alone, from Him comes my salvation. My soul lies rest in Him, my fortress I'll not be shaken. My hope is in the Lord, my honor and strength. My refuge is in Him forever. My hope and all of my heart, in Him alone my soul finds rest. I rest in God alone, from Him comes my salvation. My soul finds rest in Him. My fortress I'll not be shaken. Oh, trust in Him, you people, pour out your hearts, for God is our refuge forever. His trust and all of my heart in Him my soul finds rest. God is our Father. God is our Father. For He has, For he has made us His own. Made us His own. Made Jesus. Made Jesus. Our brother. Our brother. And hand in hand. And hand in hand. We'll grow together. We'll grow together. As, as, one. as one. As one. Sing praise to the Lord. Sing praise to the Lord. With the tambourine. With the tambourine. Sing praise to the Lord. Sing praise to the Lord. With clapping hands. With clapping hands. Sing praise to the Lord. Sing praise to the Lord. With dancing feet. With dancing feet. Sing praise to the Lord. Sing praise to the Lord. With our voice. With our voice. Okay. We will translate. Translate? Okay, so just we will we will sing it once first. We, we will sing it once first. Okay. And then, and then everybody sing. A potem wszyscy. Translate. Bóg jest naszym ojcem, ponieważ uczynił nas swoimi. Stworzył Jezusa jako naszego brata i ręka w rękę z nim będziemy wzrastać. Razem jako, jako jedność. Śpiewajcie i chwalcie Pana swoim tamburynem, takim stylem, numerkiem. Śpiewajcie i chwalcie swego Pana klaszcząc w ręce. Śpiewajcie i chwalcie swego Pana tańcząc na stopach, tańcząc. Śpiewajcie i chwalcie swego Pana swoim głosem. La, 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 la. We will sing it first, and then everybody sing. Like, 